Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna pick up the fender and tank. But first we're gonna stop by the post office to uh, ship out orders. Freaking crowded today. One eternity later. All right, without further ado, the color that I chose is gloss black. I actually spent a lot of time going through all my magazines and a lot of hours on the internet trying to find the perfect paint scheme. But for some reason, gloss black just spoke to me. This is actually a powder coat, same place that I did my frame. And I feel that the tank badges that I got recently will flow very well with the tank. If you guys were expecting a crazy paint scheme, sorry to uh, disappoint you. I'm gonna save the crazy paint scheme for the evil. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and put these back on the bike and see how they look. Why are you crying, little bear? Sad little bear. Hey, little bear. <laughs> you shy or something? I gotta remove the uh, old 3M tape from the badge and put a new one on. That way it'll stick better. So with the new tank, it's a lot more round compared to the old one. And so the headlight doesn't feel like it belongs here anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this headlight and swap it with this one right here until I find a cooler looking one at the next swap meet. All right, just got the round headlight on. I'm not sure if I like this one better or the triangle one. I think if this was a little bit higher, it would look better. But yeah, we're gonna bring the bike outside just to see uh, how it look. All right, just got the bike outside. I changed my mind. The round light does look better than the triangle one. It flows more in my opinion.
All right, just got the uh, triangle headlight off. I'm gonna put this light on the Evo for now. Not as clean as the round one, but it will do for now. You got time to change it up. But yeah, without the emblem, the black wouldn't look as good. It would look so plain. So right now the emblem is just on with 3M tape. I'm not sure it will be strong enough for uh, highway speed. So I got to look into it on how to mount the emblem better. And I do want to get um, some type of pinstripe with the same color right here, it's a cream color on the oil tank and the fender. Something simple, because right now I feel like the oil tank and the fender is just missing something. And then uh, after that, I gotta clean my engine. It's filthy right now, especially the cam cover. I wanna polish it up, make it shine. And then with the rear wheel as well, the rear wheel, I actually uh, rattle can it back in 2016. So all the paint is chipping pretty much. So I wanted to uh, powder coat the rim. Gonna do a semi-gloss black. But yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with the color. And the new headlight. The bike is coming together. I think this is my favorite uh, stage so far. Also, I just rearranged the garage again. The reason is because I wanted to park the Z back inside. It's been parked outside in the backyard for the majority of last year. So the goal for this year is to drive the Z more and you know, give it more love. I actually have the coilovers for it already. Just haven't had time to install it. I'm gonna drop the Z about inch and a half. So there's no fender gap. I think it will look better. Yeah, it's a 1972 red interior with a 2.8 instead of a 2.4. But yeah, the goal is to uh, drive the Z more this year and take it to the Japanese classic car show in Long Beach. It happens every year and it's one of my uh, bucket lists to take my own car there. So hopefully it will happen this year. Another reason why I went with black is because I wanted to match the rest of our cars because we only have uh, black and white cars. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. With the shovel, I got a few things I need to do to get back on the road. First thing would be to uh, figure out the petcock situation. Since it's right here in the middle, the old tank was back here. Probably gotta take a trip to the local hardware store and figure out something else. Other than that, it's pretty much good to go. Oh yeah, I need to wire the, uh, the new headlight as well. And I think that's uh, about it for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.